Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Kane Self Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. In this video, I'm going to review an old self defense technique when someone's trying to grab you from behind or reaching out to want to pull you backwards. And I'm going to add a little twist to it, and I'm going to also show you some footwork with it and how to do a secondary hit that's going to help you get away. Now, if you have an individual that hasn't got you into a bear hug yet, but they're maybe reaching for you or they're going to try to grab you and they're reaching this way and you happen to get a glimpse of them. Yeah, there are other techniques that we've done where we turn and we strike or I try to run more forward and turn and fight them. But I need a quick technique. And I've done this in the past and I'm going to show you the way I did it in the past and I'm going to show you a way that I'm going to change it a little bit for more power. So let's just put myself in about arm's length. Even a little bit shorter if they're reaching out. To, to bend their elbows to grab me real solid. So I'm about here. I start to, to see they're grabbing me. Even if they're starting to get a hand on me, I'm simply going to turn and do a bayonet strike. Now we've done that strike hundreds of times before. And it's a simple where I turn, lift up, two hands on the cane, horns away from me, striking with pretty good power. Well, I'm going to add more power to that. So from here, I'm going to turn and strike. Now, what I did different was replacing my right hand or my top hand. Now, as the old one, and I'll get close so you can see the hands, as I turn and I'm holding it right here and here, where I'm holding to the top of the horn, holding them kind of just below the middle to give me good power with that bayonet strike. On this one, I'm going to turn and I'm going to hold by the crook and down to the lower portion of the shaft just below the middle so I can get a good strike. Now, what I did was, unlike where I turn, bring my cane up with both hands and I have my horn away from me so I don't catch my clothing, and I strike, what I did with this was, as I turn, brought it upward, shifted my hand into a different position. And all I did was, holding the top of the crook, I turn, I brought it up, once I'm here, open this hand, and I turned it a little bit to pull, make sure that horn's away from me. Then I locked on. And now I have a better hold for a harder thrust. Just like that. Again, turn, shift, thrust. So when I hit, and I'm here, it's powerful. Now we're gonna add a little bit of footwork for that so I can do a secondary technique that I wanna do. Now when you hit somebody pretty good in the solar plexus stomach, they tend to bend. Because it hurts, you know, it gets hit. It's a hard hit, they bend. So what I wanna do is from here, as I do this, I'm gonna simply shift one foot up to the other. Now look how far I've gotten. I'm here, right? I'll put myself real close. I turned and I struck him. Look how close I am. Now, let me show you the footwork. I turned, did my strike, my left foot slid up to my right to take about, about a foot further away. One more time. Just like that. Now, remember, we hit them so they kind of bent a bit. So from here, I turned, I struck, I slid up, and now, boom, I can catch them on the collarbone and cause a good injury right here. So they're not going to be too keen on wanting to chase me down. Again, it goes from here, one, two. Now, depending on the situation, if you know it's a life-threatening life situation, you're a lot older, you don't have a lot of strength to cause injury to that body, or you're somewhere where it's extremely cold because it's winter time, and they've got jackets like you won't believe, and they're all bundled up, and you don't think you're gonna get a good injury, you may have to hit them in the head. Remember, there's injury that could come with this, even death, so that needs to be life and death situation. If it's not to where, you know, you know you can cause injury here and get away, great, do that. But if not, you may have to hit that. You don't even have to hit it that hard. Hard enough to make them fall back 
make it hurt and get away. So the technique now, again, we're here. I turn, bam, bam. Now, I can also, as I do this, as I turn and shift and bam that strike, I slide up. I got that one hand strike. I can also two hand strike it as well. So from here, turn, shift, bayonet strike, bring that foot back a little bit of distance, two hand strike to that collarbone. So do that technique, give them a good shot if you, you know you're in trouble. One, two, that'll give you time to get away. Last time, real slow. I leaned out and I turned, shifted my cane around, shifted my hand, two hand bayonet strike, slid that foot to the other foot to create a little distance. Either single hand or double hand strike. So practice that technique. As I always say, make it yours. Work it with both sides. Hopefully that helps. Gary Hernandez. And I will see you guys very soon.